Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast, one issue 171. I uh, hope you guys are well and safe. Massive thank you for all your response on social media, guys. I've got some things to catch up on as well. Uh, but G-Man, how you been, bro? I've been good, brother. I've been good. Just very tired, very busy and stuff with work and life and whatnot. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's been cool. She got notice from Singapore, so they got me. I'm going to go get my vaccination done. Basically, when they open up, they, they're saying that, you know, you can't go to the gym if you're not vaccinated. You can't go to a restaurant if you're not vaccinated. Basically, I have no choice. Now, I was going to take it anyway, but I was waiting for travel. Mm. Uh, but now it's just like, you can't do shit without the vaccine. They're literally saying you literally can't do shit without the vaccine. I'm like, all right, well, Not you got yet. me now. I'm going to go get it done. So I can't believe that, but um, it is what it is. And we all knew that's the way they're going to get you to I take know, it. Bro. Uh, I know, bro. I know. They're not going to allow people to rely on their own immune system and their own health and whatnot, which I've been doing and I'll carry on. I, I will carry on doing it. I'm not going to rely on this vaccine. But anyway, I'm going to go get it done. Um, so yeah, other than that, you know, just making the best of time and... Um, yeah, that's it, bro. I've just been, just been chilling, watching the UFC. I told you I bought the UFC Fight Pass. So I've been literally starting from just UFC 1 and just working my way up all the way to the current. And it's amazing. Just to co- I've seen the old ones before, but I've never seen UFC 3, 4 and onwards. Yeah. And it's amazing just to see the development of obviously the martial art since then. But then just everything from the UFC, the production, the commentators, everything is, is amazing. But the martial art aspect of it is is it's crazy how it's just crazy how it evolved it is just yeah. so crazy how it evolved to what it is now so yeah man that's been my thing bro because it's Massive, not much it's like bigger than boxing now isn't it i i wouldn't say it's bigger than boxing but it's definitely getting there uh they're definitely not getting paid as much as boxing boxing is yeah. historically just you know the, the overall greatest combat sport and i think it always will be but i, I do think mma is gonna overtake it i honestly i know people like i know habib and uh, Bob laugh at me because ping pong's bloody gets more viewership than MMA or whatnot when we checked it last. But I truly believe MMA is a true global sport. I mean, they got three African champions, born African champions. Mm. Did you see that clip I posted on Facebook, bro? Yeah, that's right. That yeah. was the heavyweight heavyweight champion of the world. He's a real African dude, bro. When he said Wakanda forever, I, I believed it. I, I believed it because yeah. he's an African champion. He's a superhero in, in, in many people's eyes. And when he said Wakanda to ever, forever, I believed, oh my God, Wakanda's for real. Uh, anyway, that was amazing. Um, yeah, man, and look, you got Khabib, who's one of the biggest, probably the biggest Muslim superstar uh, combat athlete right now. Uh, you got American fighters, Brazilians, Irish. I mean, come on, man, it's a Chinese champ at one point. We, I think MMA is the biggest, will be the biggest and most global sport I, I, after football. Football is always going to be number one. But um, mm. anyway, that's my opinion. But uh, yeah, I've just been just doing that, bro. Um that's it, bro. Haven't been doing much. I, I finished off Atypical. Did you ever watch that with Michael Rappaport? No, 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 I haven't. No, it's good. It wasn't too bad. It's too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I finished the last season, which is a little bit, um, you know, it's always sad to see the season finish and whatnot. Uh, I like Rappaport. I mean, it's not he's not his he's usual guy, self. Man. He's, he's, he's not his usual guy. self, but uh, he takes it in more of a serious father father role in this in this one. But um, it's uh, it's about his he's son who's cop, got. Right? Um, no, no, no. He's not a cop oh. in this one. He's, he's a father. He's, he's a, his son has... Um, oh, what's that? Um, come on, man. He's got a, a, a disorder. Um, okay. Oh, I've gone so blank right now. But his son's no, basically I... got a disorder. And, um, but yeah, no. Rappaport plays a good part. It's just good. It's a good, um, it's a good program. Um, no, I like it. To be honest, I haven't had the time to check nothing out, man. It's been ages and whatever I do get a chance, I have to watch on my phone now. Uh, so, yes, I uh, think times have changed as well, bro. Like, it's weird. Like, I started letting go of a few things, but I still feel like I'm stuck online. Does that make sense? Even though you move mm. away from it, you're still, 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 still stuck on it. Uh, yeah, well... We're embedded online, bro. It's it's in our DNA now. Well, not in our DNA, but it's in our kids. It will be in our kids' DNA. We've yeah. kind of adopted it. They're the that's ones right. asking me, like, we were born with this. You merely adopted it. Um, so it's hard to come away from it, bro. Awesome. Uh, perfect. That's sorted. Thank you very much. We're in the, inter- we're on the internet bastards. right now. If that's we speak. Bastards, bastards, bastards. What happened? Bro. What happened? What happened? I was so I was I was doing this book for Afa, which was supposed to come yesterday, for a gift for Ida. Uh, so we did a I did a I did the illustrations, and you know, 
they said they'll give me the book before Saturday, printed, yeah? Paid extra for delivery so it comes next day. Bro, nowhere to be noticed. You son of a bitch. So, Tonk's email this morning, got bumped, give my money back, and all the rest of it. Well, I didn't say that, I just said, like, paid for a service for it to be done. I messaged to say, will it be done? You said, you messaged me back saying, you will have it by Saturday. I didn't have it. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to refund you at least? No, nah, no, nah, get the book sent to Afash direct and just give me my money back for the express delivery I paid for. Reroute that mother. Will they man. do that? I hope they better. Yeah, do. yeah, I just got that confirmation now, so I'm happy. Mm. Uh, so that's okay. fine. That's out of, my, out of my head now. I don't need to worry about that no more. But other than that, bro, on other geeky news, bro, the man behind the posters. The man behind the posters. Bro, I've been waiting for this package for couple of months bro i saw that i saw what is it what is it it's an lp it's an lp it's an lp it's a literally a record does it does it yeah, play yeah 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 but i'll never open it it's signed by no, the, of course the original artist uh, uh Drew the back to the future soundtrack yeah Christ. so he he did all the artwork for the back to the future posters all the movie the concept ideas uh but he's done plenty of movies bro he hasn't just done that star wars harry potter Masters of the Universe. Uh, we got so many movie posters. Indiana Jones. I, his his catalogue is massive, bro. He's like probably one of the best artists to use in pop culture. You know, if anybody who knows about movie posters knows about this guy. And mm. uh, an opportunity came up and I was like, oh, man, this doesn't come around. And not not it was like cheap, bro. And I was like, nah, man, this... This doesn't happen, but they did say there's a way it's coming from the States. And then you, the United States Postal Service told me they lost it, bro. Oh, so I like, so waited three months already. Oh, it's been three months. Jeez. Yeah, bro. Three months already because they had to get the vinyls made up and, you know, all the artwork done. And then, you know, they had different shipping times. And I was like, you know what? For $35, bro. What is that? Can you show the viewers what it is? Have you, can, you, can you show them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Talking about this thing, let's, let's see what it looks like, man. I mean, it looks kind of epic. Hold up, man. Where is it? Oh, wow. Oh. Look at that. So it's the Back to the Future final. Because at first I thought it was a clock. Um, no, 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 that's no, awesome and that's the signature yeah and it's got everything official and it's got the vinyl in there so yeah exciting Wicked. times that's bro. amazing exciting times. that's yeah. amazing so yeah that's, Drew Stuzan, cool. man. that's what I was going to say like one of them one of them guys bro it's like good times definitely that that put a smile on my face this morning when that popped through because uh, originally they they lied to me and told me they lost it and you know they don't cover it and it's like bloody hell I'm never going to get that chance ever again like now I'm that guy who wants to jump at opportunities. Like I don't want to. I don't want to miss opportunities. Anyway, that 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 happened. So that's. I think we should sorted. jump at opportunities, man. There's so many times, and we're always going to be like this. But there's always this hesitation of like, oh, should I get it? Should I not? Should I do this? And then you lose. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta do it, bro. Um, you gotta you gotta suck it up sometimes. Like, and if you think it's gonna be memorable to you and and bring you joy and happiness, I say just do it, man. You know what I mean? Obviously, you've got to be smart with your finances and whatnot. But if you can do it, I say do it, man. No, definitely. So that was a that was a, a very good one. And then, uh, yeah, that's it, man. It's been a busy week work as well. So back on work again. So, guys, I know the podcast is running a day late, but it's all right. I think before we used to bring it out on a Tuesday. So I feel like we got a better viewship as well. So I think I'll continue. Like, even if we do it early, G, man, I'll still release it, like, Tuesday afternoon or something because it's been up and down. So I need to test different days now on when we when we pick it and the subjects as well. So I don't want to keep you too long because I know it's late over there. <laughs> Excuse me, man. Burping and shitting mm-hmm. everywhere, man. Any gastric I'm, problems? I'm, I must vomit there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gastric. Bloody sore throat, man. It's killing me. All right. <clears throat> yeah, go on. So let's, let's get down to business. I was going to say, okay. uh, no, I was going to say nothing. Let's get down to business, bro. Let's do it. So this is uh, Basan Tariq to uh, to direct Blade, which I'm excited about, bro. You know, having a brother on there, 
doing his thing. I'm not even I'm not even familiar with this dude, but I just saw so, okay, Marvel trust him, then I trust him. If Kevin Feige exactly. trusts him, then that's all right. <laughs> exactly. But there's been bare hate, bro, online, bro. Because they're good for this dude. Uh, yeah, because they just want uh they want uh they originally want to I think some fans have kind of we're well, we're gonna talk about toxic fans later on anyway. Yeah, but of course, you know, yeah. again, fans, you know, they were like, no man, we we want to you want a black director to make this movie. And I'm like, you don't, the guy can give you a good vision. Why the hell does he yeah. even care what race you are? You know what I mean? This is, this is the problem that I'm having with this diverse and inclusivity, right? Of course, that's important, but don't stop other people from getting, even if they're white, don't, if they, if they can do the job, if they, they're the best person for it, then don't stop them from it. Like, you know what I mean? So mm. If there's hate from this brown dude getting the job because then we're the black director, then, it's you're 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 blocking people. You're you it's, it's opposite to diversity and inclusion. You're not including people because you want someone. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it goes against the it defeats the purpose. Um, I don't know, man. People are crazy, man. I think they take it too far, or they're not thinking about the consequences for other people. Um, they just want what they want, and they say, oh, it's diversity and inclusion. You got to include them. Like, well, what about the other people? Like the the innocent other people who can who can do the job or who can be a creative person listen i tried to imdb this dude but i couldn't find anything that i was familiar with to be honest but all i know is if marvel trusts someone then i you, you know who, who's done them wrong think about the mcu universe like think about one of the movies that went completely wrong i mean i know the four movies were kind of iffy but end of the day they fit they fit mm. into the universe so that's right you know what I mean? So, and, and let's be real. The Watiti, I can't pronounce the name, but Thor 3. That's not Thor, bro. That is not Thor. Thor's, Thor's not a comedian. He's not mm. a silly character. He's, he is how he was in part one and two. It's just that he didn't resonate with the fans. So they changed him. So it doesn't make it like, it wasn't like, oh, you know, he he made Thor in, in the best way. It's like, no, he, he changed him and it worked. But really, yeah, Thor exactly. is the way he's supposed to be. So... I, I'm happy. I, I think they'll do a great... I think whoever this dude is, he should do a great job. No, nah, he will. He will. He will, definitely. Uh, Army of the Dead sequel. Uh, Army of Thieves. Did you see the trailer yesterday? I did, bro. I did. It, I, things in it, bro. Um, um, Goose um, Tongue. Yeah, Ibi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Man, man got... What's it called? The show he had? Man from Mubin. Man called Mubin. Yeah, bro. He's in it. Good, good for him, bro. Good for him. <laughs> Yeah, I was. Yeah, Definitely. trailer looks kind of cool. It's got the the other Swedish dude that's unlocking the uh, whatever. So, but yeah, now I, when I saw Man from Mobian, I was like, good for you, man, that you're in a mm. Zack Snyder movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, so that sort of trailer for that that looks interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching that. I think that'll be on Netflix soon. Uh, what else did I? But that's bro, a, I that's did... a prequel, and then they're gonna that's make he's gonna make a second one later, right? Because that dude. Remember the yeah. end of um yeah that's so, right. so okay. pretty cool then that and then the other one they're gonna make after uh I'm gonna leave that this actually hold up so let's talk about Space Jam bro I saw it bro what did you think bro because I I reason why I pull it down I know we spoke about it last week I watched the original and after watching that I think that's a hundred times better than the new one I enjoyed the new one but after watching the original I was like this is a hundred times better than the new one what, what did you think so 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 listen bro. It just didn't have that. The the storytelling was really basic. Uh, the I, bro, you know I'm a visuals guy, so I'm gonna love all the visuals. But then it felt like it was a bit too much. Yeah, it just felt yeah, like a bit too much and like... overwhelming. They tried to bring all the characters, and instead of you focusing on the story, you're focusing on oh, who's that? Who's this? Who's that? What do they do here? Someone, what do they do there? Someone made a tweet saying that it was just a big advertisement. Yeah, exactly that. And that's what it felt like. It didn't have that, you know, it didn't have a great soundtrack. And, you know, uh, Don Chico, he's funny. He's all right, but... I the know, soundtrack, bro, just... bro. Listen, R. Kelly is R. Kelly, and let's not talk about his problems. But the I Believe I Could Fly, bro, when I watched the original, I'm not even joking, bro. Just listening to that tune in the beginning got me kind of emotional. I was like... That was a fucking tune. That was yeah. a good tune, bro. And the original, like I say, Michael, no offense to LeBron, but Michael was actually a much better actor, Jordan. Because look, yes. like did you notice yeah, that? His acting wasn't, it was it wasn't great, right? I mean, no. he's not an actor, so you shouldn't judge him on that. But Jordan was a much better actor when you pull it into that perspective. 
That's um, right. That's right. And also, the Looney Tunes were way more loonier in the original one. Like they were. Yeah. Well, Porky Pig was. I know Porky Pig had his little rap battle thing, which was kind of whatever. But in the original one, bro, he was cracking me up with it. With his, you know, the way he stutters and shit. The, big, the Looney big, Tunes. Big. Well, yeah, bro, the Looney Tunes were way more loonier in the original. Everything about the original was much better, bro. I, when I, I, it's been, bro, it came out in 1996, I think it was. So we're yeah, talking about 25 right. years. And, and the soundtrack um, was the best, bro. Bro, you had the sound, you had Seal, was it Seal that was had a soundtrack? The, remember, bro, yeah. the first ever, that first ever CD we bought was Hit Em High, Hit em right? High. With yeah. Be Real, Busta Rhymes, Method Man, was it cannabis? Like, oh my god! No, Hello Cool J, I think. Hello Cool J, ridiculous. Red Man, I think it was. I don't know. That was with the soundtrack to the new one had nothing on the soundtrack to the old. Honestly, honestly, bro, for me personally, I did enjoy the new one and it did make me laugh and whatnot. But the old one, just watch rewatching it because I forgot about it completely. It, it had smashes a lot of heart. the new one. Yeah, it smashes it. Heart. Yeah, had a lot. The funny part was, you know, when they said, "Yeah, we we found Michael Jordan." And for a moment, I was like, oh, they got him as a cameo. That would have made me moist. But it was when it was Michael B. Jordan, I started laughing. I was like, okay, that's quite funny. That was funny. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bill Murray's cameo. Bill Murray's cameo in the original was the, is the best. It's when the he came time, in, yeah. da, 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 he, <laughs> he played 10 <laughs> seconds and retired. But, because when I was young, I don't think I understood it, but he kept bugging Michael about playing in the NBA. <laughs> and then he comes in this game, literally plays 10 seconds. My man's knees are hurting and he's like, oh, I think I'm going to retire on top of my 10 second game. <laughs> bro, Bill Murray smashed it, bro. Uh, the, original, <laughs> the original was so much better. It Watch the original with Alara. I, I reckon <clears throat> she would love it because the Looney Tunes are hilarious. And yeah, it was much better, man. Like I say, like going back. It just lost, it lost its uh, appeal because I know CGI and all that graphic stuff makes it much more bigger because they should have kept it the same, I feel like. They should have kept mm. it the same, like that 2D animation. Because even though it maybe looks simple, but you still watch the first Space Jam and you feel connected because yes that's two worlds colliding but now it's like bloody hell man it was it was a bit too much to look at at, at times and I was like you've really lost yourself in everything else and it's not uh based on a good good I know I know it was again about family mm, you know family everything's family. about family yeah yeah so <laughs> it's pretty good uh that they based it around that but then it's like oh man you've just Taken everything from Fast and Furious and put it into this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fast and Furious is still getting destroyed with this family thing. Oh, bro, the new one was sick. Did you see the new one I sent? Which one did Bruce, you send? Bruce Wayne. Yes, yeah, I think I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. I still got my family. Let's talk while we're on that subject. Anyway, let's move on to HBO uh, working on a project with Michael B. Jordan to do the Black Superman Val Zod. What's your thoughts on that, bro? Well, I think he's, at least he's taken, you, you know, when, when, when we were talking about that we're going to just do a, a black Superman and call him Clark Kent and whatnot, we are just like, yeah. why didn't you do the black Superman story of Zod, right? Uh, which is, mm. this is an actual character, if I'm correct. Yeah, uh, about Zod. Yeah. I just think that's the right approach. Why not just do yeah. that approach? And I think he's, if he's going to play it, that's even better because uh, he will be awesome. And if he's mm. working it, why, I mean, why not? Listen, man, I think I heard Kevin Smith talking about it. I would take, I would definitely take, listen, I know they're killing it with Superman. They got so many different things. I, I would take them. I'll watch them. And if they're good, I'll carry on watching them. If they're not good, then I won't watch them. But exactly. I love my Smallville. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this <clears throat> Lois and Clark or Clark and Superman, whatever it's called. <clears throat> um, of course, the Man of Steel movies are sick. I just watched BVS with my girl the other day because I'm taking her through the DC universe. That film is awesome. Fuck you if you don't like it. We watched the director's cut. That film is sick, bro. I don't care for it. Mm. The whole movie, I was feeling it. And even she was like, she's, she's new. She don't know none of this stuff. So watching the director's cut, she was like, she really enjoyed the way, the fact, the way they portrayed Superman and the way mm. Super Superman uh, portrayed Batman in his head. You know what I mean? Both of them built hate for each other. Obviously, um, 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 who the boy? Lex Luthor was the one who manipulated Superman especially. That's right. um, but the way... They both, both of those two heroes, regardless <coughs> of all the outside influences, they both put something in their heads to hate on the other one. Um, anyway, so I would take as many Superman movies or shows as they give. Yeah, exactly. yeah, as long as they're good, I'll take them, man. 
No, no, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? So, Vincent D'Onofre. Vincent D'Onofre, Kingpin, will appear in the Hawkeye series. Like, it's not confirmed. I know, I know, but it's fucking... I don't know if it's someone just spreads a rumour and everyone's just all like... It just lights up oh, and why not? Yeah, like, but, and he, he liked the said tweet. It, he'd like the idea, yeah. He liked the tweet and everyone was like, he liked it, oh my God, but that doesn't mean shit. However... It's all these theories about he's going to be in um, uh, Hawkeye. Um, I mean, come on, man. He was a great kingpin. How could you he let was, him go? He was, he was, Same with was, Ch- all of those Netflix guys, were Netflix lot were casted correctly. So, But then now they're doing another series, isn't it? With uh, Luke Cage and I'm... Uh, what's his name? Luke Cage and I'm Fist. So really? There's, there's another one in development, so it won't be with them. Wait, wait, wait. What, like separate? And separate from the MCU? Or within? No, no, with the MCU, but it's a separate Disney Plus show. Oh, really? Is that confirmed? Not yet. I think somebody put in something, again, another rumour. Well, Ash put yeah. something about Luke Cage coming back, but I think I saw that was the comics. I didn't think it was the TV programme. Ah, and, okay. Yeah. And I don't mean to be bad, man, but they need to recast Mr. Mr. Iron Fist, dude, man. He's <laughs> need to recast that dude. He, I'm sorry, he wasn't great. That show wasn't great. He didn't portray the character well. Unfortunately, they should recast that. Um, Bad script writing on that one, bro. Bad script writing. I on think that one. so. I think so. Um, and and choreographing and martial arts, it wasn't smooth. Come on, like when you see the trailer of 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 Shang Chi, you can see okay, this guy knows martial arts. It flows like martial mm. arts. The Iron Fist did never flow, and it just looked so cheesy, especially when he used to do his Tai Chi breathing and and forms. It didn't <laughs> look good. I'm sorry, man. It just didn't look good. It's like me doing my forms, like. I don't look good doing it either, but you know what I mean? It's like, you know, just a standard dude doing it. But uh, hey, bro, look, listen, Marvel have already killed the internet and the world and the movie industry. If they put fucking Kingpin, that Kingpin into into Hawkeye, amazing. We're, we're, we're going to get Romanoff's sister in that as well, which will be sick, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, because they link that up. And then if you put Charlie Cox dead over in Spider-Man, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that movie is already amazing. And you put him in there, Oh man, I reckon he's rumors, in it, man. man. There was just rumors, another rumor bro. going around. Rumors. Fair rumors. Charlie Cox like recently cancelled a Comic Con thing because he had to do a reshoot, and everyone's like, "Reshoot! It's Spider Man!" Like this motherfucker's an actor; he can be doing any reshoots, but everyone's just pinpointing it on Spider Man. But you never know, bro. Like if, if Marvel are good at giving the fans what they want, if he's in there, everyone's going crazy. Billion dollar movie, bro. Exactly, bro. Exactly. But we will have to wait and see because. All these rumours are starting to make people fatigue and sick and ill, bro. All sorts of shit is coming out now, bro. People are making up all sorts of things left, right and centre. And you're like, mm-hmm. you're going to, you know, you, I, I was watching another video where fans are like, so much, so excited. They somehow put their posters up in different cinemas. And, you know, the hype is just unreal, bro, for this next Spider-Man. So I think people need to calm down before they make themselves upset. Well, I, well, that's the thing, man. People like to get upset. Marvel allows you to create ideas. And you know what's more, what's great about Marvel like and directors and whatnot? They take some of the ideas. They're like, oh, that's a good fucking idea. So that's <laughs> awesome as well. But, man, think about it, man. You've got the multiverse Spider-Man. We know it's the multiverse, right? Um, you've got Doctor <clears throat> Strange in it. There's a possible chance Daredevil is going to be in it. I mean, come on, man. Come on. When you think about that, bro, don't you just want to, like... Like, be exciting, bro, exciting, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's <probably>. amazing. <laughs> I don't exciting. know what to definitely say, bro. I don't know what to say. It will be exciting. It will be definitely very exciting. It's just, oh man, I just wanted to. I just want to see it now. I've had enough. Just give it to us, man. But I'll wait. It's Sony, isn't it? Sony's holding on, bro. It's not Marvel. Sony would have released. Uh, Marvel would have released that just to get the hype going, bro. I don't Sony know, being man. Sony being smart, bro. Uh, let's get on. Ghost of Tashima movie, guy from Green Lit. Looks like the guy from uh, John Wick will be directing it, That's or sick, involved in. They need to but... get that Mitsuragi guy on it, bro. I can't oh, say his name. He is the name. man. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Man. Why do we forget Shindoshi his name? Shindoshi or something. Bro, oh, no. I think you made that shit up, but yeah, he's also <laughs> <laughs> that's Shindoshi is the guy, blood sport. That's Van Damme's co- uh, sensei. <laughs> no, no, that's Shidoshi Tanaka, bro. Shidoshi Tanaka. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's it? I, I need to. What is it? 
Where uh, basically last... that guy's the best. He's the, he's, the, he's the best. He's the best, definitely. When uh, you cast a samurai movie, he has to be in it. Oh man, hold on, forty-seven. Did you find the name? Are you looking for the name? I'm, I'm still you... looking for the name. His name is Hiroko Sanada. That's what it is. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hiroki bad Sanada. Man. Hiroki bad Sanada. Man, bad man. But if I bro. look like him, I walk around in samurai outfit all day, bro. Like, well, who are you gonna mess with? Who are you gonna mess with him, bro? He looks awesome. Um, but look, that game is awesome. I know I'm taking my ultimate time, but I've just the game is so sick, bro. It's really, yeah. really good. And um, I said that they were going to release a, a new level to the game or whatnot. I'm only halfway through it, I think, actually. But I'm taking my ultimate time. Uh, and if they make a movie, I'm, I'm in. I'm 100% in. What a brilliant, brilliant, amazing game. I haven't been addicted to a game in so long. So this is the first time in a long time. So happy about that. But yeah, if they make a movie, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Bro, Luke and Grogu poster, bro. So Comic San Diego Comic Con is happening like online or something like that. And uh, they released a poster from Mandalorian season three of Grogu building a saber and Luke standing next to him with the kyber crystal. I didn't even see this. Or maybe I see, saw it and just thought it was a fan made shit. I think I did no, see man. it. I thought it was fan made. Official. That's official, oh, bro. Wow. So you think Luke's going to be a bigger part of season three? It looks like, bro. I feel like they're going to go through, they're going to, they're going to give us the Luke we wanted. Oh my God. Oh, I, I, I still want to see Mandalorian, bro. He, he's the man. No, I want to see man. him. You can't take him out. Pedro Pascal. I think they, the dude. they'll give him, give him some training scenes or something like that. I mean, I'm not, I'm just excited to see season three, man. Season one and two were absolutely awesome. You know, the most simplest basic show of this guy trying to get this guy somewhere else, you know what I mean? But they they made it made it so likable, bro. So good to watch. So, you know, that, that last scene from Mandalorian season two with Luke, like every time I watch that scene now on an odd occasion, I'm like, it's so clean. So he's powerful. Like we, I want to see more of that Luke. I know I don't want him to overtake the show, but I do want to see a little bit more of his powers because he was like, peak condition Luke there bro like that's yeah. Jedi Master Luke bro you know what I mean that's not and we didn't see and maybe because there's just limitations of back then and creativity in regards to choreographing and stuff back then but yeah. we didn't see that it's the same when, when we saw Darth Vader, Darth Vader at the end of uh, Rogue One that was like oh yeah. shit we've never seen that before and that's the sort <laughs> of Vader we wanted to see so yeah, bro. I mean, I don't think I don't want to see. To be honest with you, I don't want him to rinse it out and give us a whole Luke show. I want to see the Mandalorian show. But yeah, some scenes, maybe an episode or two or something, maybe three or whatever. Just throw him in. They're doing some training or something. Or you know, exactly. Mandalorian goes there and checks up on them or something. Will be will be awesome. Yeah, no, definitely, man. I'm looking forward to that. So that was the uh, one excitement from last week. Uh, let me just quickly double check if there was anything else before we jump on the next subject. Mm -hmm. uh, but again massive thank you guys for supporting the channel make sure you check us out on facebook instagram tiktok and twitter uh we're all over it now so we have our clips mm. page coming soon and then i'm going to work on some other projects later on uh i don't think no there was, there's nothing else on there bro let's jump on it man kevin smith and the masters of the universe did you watch it all I did. I watched. I did watch the first five episodes. What, what did you think of the episodes first before we get on to Smith's reaction and everything? Bro, you know what? I enjoyed it. It's fine. It didn't bother me too much. It was a really good, easy watch. And he did a Game of the Thrones business at the end. Spoilers, guys. But fucking He Man dies twice in this shit, bro. God damn. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect <laughs> that. But I. Obviously, there's another five more episodes. I, I thought it was just five episodes. I'm like, oh, is that it? But there's five yeah, more, that. which you're going to release later. Yeah. Yeah, so which yeah. I'm happy, totally happy with. Uh, I love the casting of the characters. I love the journey that they're on. Uh, I know that we get, we're going to get more. We're going to get so much more. This is just the beginning. Uh, what about that no, first scene when he transforms? Sick, bro. The yeah, first bro. scene when he turns it, bro, that was awesome. That gave me goosebumps, bro. The, yeah, the same, animation yeah, bro. and the way he turned into He Man was awesome. The animation in this was brilliant, bro. Like I'm, I'm a cartoon guy all day, bro. I, I love animation, so to see that, like in its new form, 
like 2D stroke, you know, still got like some depth in it. Uh, it was really good, bro. Really good, really good, you know. And, you know, yes, the first chapter, this is like the first chapter, you could say, is based on Teela's quest to try and bring back magic to Eternia. But, I mean, what I know we're going to jump on the subject later on. I think it was fine, bro. You know, I think I got just enough He-Man and I got enough of each of the characters as well. Because remember, the character building again. So we're mm. not living in a time where Saturday morning cartoons, we didn't need to know shit. We just watch it. We get moist. You know what I mean? I yeah, don't know no yeah. backstory about He-Man. I don't know yeah. no backstory about it's He-Man. It's true. It's so true. Like, where the fuck did all these people suddenly, ah, uh, you know, look what they've done, blah, blah, like... What the fuck do you know about him? Like, does he have like some biblical book or something that you can follow him on or something? Like, there, you know what? To be fair, bro, maybe there is, maybe there is some backstories and all that sort of stuff. We personally maybe didn't follow it as much. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, but I, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. You don't have to go into a, a mindset of something new that's coming on to. Like, all right, let's just jump into it. Like, you know, rip the shit out of Kevin Smith because of his writing and the way the show is leading, you, I don't understand because we didn't do that as kids. Why do you have to do that as adults? Like I still have that kid in me when I watch mm. something and I, I don't do it let's, to, yeah, go on. Let's look at it from their angle, right? A yeah. hardcore He-Man fan. And I'm not saying a hard, even though if you're hardcore, you still rip on him. But what I'm saying is like, you know, when, you know, when Fox made X-Men, we were ripping, you know, we were like, this is, <laughs> basic so you know i think it's maybe coming from th their perspectives coming from there but look my opinion is like i'm not the biggest he-man fan however i wanted to watch this because i remember watching he-man as a kid uh, this yeah. is a kevin smith project so i definitely want to support that and it wasn't too bad i sat there watched it was easy watch easy watches mm. I couldn't remember the He-Man characters, to be honest with you, at all. Uh, I just remembered He-Man himself and his pet tiger thing. It's the only two yeah. characters I remembered, and I couldn't even remember the pet tiger's name. But this show... Cool yeah, Cats. these shows reintroduced... me, And obviously Skeletor. Yeah. These shows reintroduced me to the characters, got me get, got there to, got me, uh, to get to know them again, and then put me through this journey. Now, not seeing He-Man did make me feel like, ah, oh, shit, we're not going to get much He-Man. But I wasn't like, oh, my God, this is basic. This is not He-Man. I was like, this is this is all right. This is cool. And by the end of season five, uh, episode five, I was like, holy shit, man. How could you leave me on this cliffhanger? Because I just got into it. I, I binged the whole five episodes. And I was like, Same, man. we can't Same, leave man. me like this. So I thought it was great, man. Um, but going on to Kevin Smith, like the reason why I was telling you about his podcast was a bit difficult to listen to. He's Kevin Smith, man. He's a legend. He don't have to fucking just justify his book. So he spent an hour and a half in that podcast, literally kind of justifying himself. Like, and it I was, was like, hard, bro, bro, hard work. You don't have to. No, nah, man, you're a legend. You, you could just be like, I don't give a fuck about the comments. You watch it, you don't. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. That's that's Kevin Smith, man, to me. And like, like that should be uh, that's us anyway. Like, that's anyone. Like, you yeah. shouldn't be looking at it. He really engages so much with the comments and the neck and the and the feedback. On that, whatnot. yes. Too much, that bro. He did, because usually he doesn't much. do that. He does. Yeah, no, the thing is, he does think about it, man. When they do the podcast, when they do the podcast, he's literally, you know, when they were doing it online, he's literally looking at the online comments as they're doing the podcast. So he's really engaged with the with the with the comments, man. And the truth is, he shouldn't be, man. He shouldn't be because. Look at that, man. Like, he spent an hour and a half in that podcast justifying and it was difficult for me to listen to. And I was like, Kevin, it was man, hard for you me. Don't, you yeah. You shouldn't be listening to them, guys, man. You're a legend. You don't need to listen to them fuckers. Let them be and just say, fuck off. I'm going to do my thing. Um, so that's why I was a little bit like, what's the word? I, I don't want to say disappointed, but maybe disappointed is the word. Kevin, man, you're a legend. You don't have to listen to nobody. Fuck them. No, I know that, but bro. But like the, the society we live in now, you feel like you have to justify because look what happened. They found footage of him saying that he wasn't really a big fan. So he backed up himself on, on his word. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so that's mm. really hard because like how we just said on, like what you just said now, you're not a big He-Man fan, but you remember He-Man. So you're going to watch it because you did watch it when you were younger. The thing is they taken his... His, uh, I, th I think it was from Comic Book Men years ago that he did a TV show. Somebody went back and watched every single episode to get that one little clip to 
put him in this situation where he has to keep repeating himself. And it's like, bro, I said that then. I smoked weed. I don't remember this shit. Yeah. The and hell is wrong so with you what if he's not the biggest fan? He's still a, a fan. And plus, it's just fucking 10 episodes. Go back and watch all the old ones if you don't have to watch his new ones. It, the, the, his 10 yeah. episodes does not erase all the 150 exactly. or whatever they made back in. Go watch yeah. and watch those. 200, so those 200 episodes. Yeah, so you got 200 episodes to go watch and a movie with Dolph Lundgren and, and I'm sure there's so much other He-Man shit out there. Go watch that. Get the fuck out of here. You don't have to watch these things. Like, he didn't, he done his thing. Most people, I think, are going to enjoy it. There's going to be, but bro, you have to put, pull it this way. I mean, I don't know the numbers, but I, I can guarantee you, bro, that 99% of people loved it and it's the 1% who make up a big amount, the 1% who's making a big impact of, you know, mm. trying to cuss him, man. That's what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that he shouldn't be concentrating on that 1%. He should be just like, fuck off. Like, that's that's what I'm saying. So he's made that 1% bigger than they already, than they are. Because yeah, I know, because his, he's been, he's been replying. He's been, I don't know, man. He's an artist, bro, defending his artwork and his thing, know. which he doesn't, he doesn't have to, because to. in the stat, he doesn't need to. That's what I'm saying. He, he just, <coughs> somehow because he's still a fan as well, bro. Because he's a fan of everything, that's the problem. So that's why he's yeah, taking know. it quite hard on himself as well. Yeah, like watching and I heard that him say he was, he, yeah. Yeah, I heard him say, you know, he 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 didn't want to let anyone down or anything like that. Well, fucking you're gonna let anyone down, but you're gonna you're on the internet, man. You're gonna let loads of people down because some people just wanna be let down. You know what I'm trying exactly. to say? Like it is what it is, man. Uh like I said, man, I, I think even if he spent 20 minutes of the podcast talking about it and defending himself. That I thought, okay, that's cool. He he went on for about an hour and a half at least. Him and, Bro, and his guests defending it, and I was name. like, that's too much. It's too much. People are using his name and all his issues and making pure buck out of his name, bro, on YouTube, bro. Mm, yeah, and it's hard to see because it I was scrolling, bro. I was scrolling and I was like, Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith, Masters Universe, shit, 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 and I was like, have it's weird, bro, because recently the reason why I've come off a couple of my social media platform is a lot of people are fucking negative, bro. Yeah, That's and I've started to see that more in their feed. Like, you know, it's gone from, it's gone from, I lived this, super, super, you know, splendid, fucking amazing life. And I've got all these things and, you know, life is amazing, but really behind it's, it's dark as shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's slowly, you can slowly starting to see that come into the feed, bro. You know, people arguing in the comments and stuff like that. And I was like, hold up, man. It was so sad because I was like, oh, man, you know, it's hard because you can't even stand up for the dude because it's overwhelmed by negativity, bro. You don't need to stand up. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, let the negativity be. Bro, it's everywhere. You can't do nothing about it. But... That's just, but that's the reality of the internet. Like I say, we're, we're getting cussed. I guarantee you there's someone that's watching us and cussing us uh, and, and they'll cuss us more and we're going to get more people. That's just the way it is. And fuck them. Like, mm. you don't know, should it, just be ignore them, bro. And that's the way, bro, I'm telling you, there's more people guaranteed that will enjoy your content or don't have a negative mm. thought than there is negative. So I say, fuck them. And I listen, I'm not going to name names or whatnot, but I've been around situations who are fucking haters. I love to hate. And I'm just like, you're a hater, man. You're a loser. You you are a loser. Like, because you want to hate on people. You want, you ain't doing shit for yourself. Listen, bro, we were talking about, about Michael, Michael Rappaport the other day. Mm. We have very different thoughts, for example, on Israel and Palestine. And he posts a lot of stuff on pro-Israel stuff, which is cool for him because I think he's got all the right in the world to defend his people and country and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, I don't agree with what's happening. We don't agree with Express that. But, bro, put that aside. I fucking love Rappaport and I love his content. Mm. I love his the, the show and watch it. Like, just because of one thing that we don't agree on, which really has nothing to do, not nothing to do with us, but, you know, politically goes beyond us and whatnot. Why am I going to mm. just start shitting on the dude and just say, I don't like him. I don't want to listen to his content, bro. Like, bro, fuck exactly. it, man. You're supposed to, mm. you're po- like, you know, you're, you're negative people out there, man. They're just going to have to be like, I, I just scroll past it. I'm like, cool. I don't need to listen to that shit. I know, but it was horrid to see Kevin Smith go through that, man. Enough. He's such a sweet dude. And, you know, people, it's, it's, it's fuck, bro. Sorry, man. I just. I feel for him. I feel I you. Definitely, I, know, I, feel I, you. I really felt for him. I really felt for him 
And then I was going through the feed and I'm reading the shit people are saying and I'm like, you shouldn't you be doing that. Anyway. But see, he's doing that, which is a big mistake. You shouldn't even be doing that anyway, bro. Like, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's, done, it's, it's not that it's not, I'm looking into the comments. I'm looking at my YouTube feed, bro. Just to oh, see okay, what videos okay. to watch. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, seeing yeah. that and I'm like, I've got a few you motherfuckers. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, you the mother algorithm gets you. Yeah, bro. And I'm like, how does the, al- so the algorithm we know, bro, is all about, fuck you and hate you and all of that shit, yeah? <laughs> and then when we post something about Palestine or anything else, it doesn't get pushed in the algorithm. You know, it's 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 basically fucked, but... Wogan talks it's, about it's it, a shame. Bro. Well, Yeah, mm. Wogan talks about it. There were so many different people about these algorith- algorithms and how they follow you and change you. And, you know, it, whatever you sense that you like, it, it goes straight in there and whatever. It, it gets you, bro. And it, 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 it's just, it is what it is. Like I said, man, I love Kevin Smith. I enjoyed He-Man um, just more. for what it was. Right? I'm not the craziest fan, but I definitely binged all five episodes. Um, mm. And I, I, just, I just think he's a legend and he doesn't... He shouldn't really um, need to spend an hour and a half justifying himself. He should just spend maybe twenty minutes and be like, ah, "Well, fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let. I'll do what I want." You know, I'm trying to say like the next five episodes, let them come out. Like, you know, we don't. You haven't even seen all the season. Like, watch the next five episode. Maybe make a little comment then. If not, shut the fuck up. And you know what? The people who are paying his bills, be it Netflix and the, the producer or whoever he worked with, you know, he talked about who is the, mm. the main He-Man dude. <clears throat> if they trust him, then who the fuck are you lot, man? Like, bro, let people talk, man. I, Kevin Smith's too much of a legend to let, let this get to him. Um, exactly. So I hope he just moves on and says, yeah, well, fuck off. I'm doing my next thing. I'm sure he will, bro. But he, like he said, he is prone. To, he's that guy. But the thing is, he's aged, isn't it? And like you could see in that interview, in that podcast, you could tell it, t- it took a toll on him because he's been getting hate for his movies from back in the days, bros. Not yeah. just what's, what's been happening recently, but with that hate comes, you know, attraction. People get to see his film. People understand, you know, he brings new people to the screen. You know what I mean? Bro, remember when we first watched Dogma, we were like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell is this? But, you yeah. know, when we watched Jane, Silent Bob and more like more rats. I absolutely love more rats, bro. That's like the peak movie of, you know, geeky culture brought to our reality with these two dudes, you know what I mean? And it's a funny yeah. comedy as well. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, bro. Yeah, like That's what I'm saying, though. He's been used to all that negative shit from before, but the problem is now it's, it's it more in your face because it's on folds, the internet. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone and everyone's cat and everyone's cat's uncle's son's brother can say whatever they want to say now. Everyone. So it's more deep into it. So, you know, but yeah, look, he's like, he's in the middle of making Clerks free, right? I, I, you know, so he's still doing his thing and let him, man. He's a legend, man. He's, he's an absolute legend and, you know, he shouldn't be reading the comments and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, bro, stripes to him. Did you hear he just done a seven day fast? I mean, that's some mental yeah, strength, bro. Most I've done is just over 24 hours and I, I can't even get there. And, you know, I know, you know, GSP and whatnot, they go for many days fast. I, they look, look, the GSP, for example, does train like a savage as well. But man, he just found a seven day fast, like good for him. man. I mean, he really took his health serious and I give him so much credit Seriously. for that after his heart attack, you know, he became mm. a vegan. He's doing all this fasting, you know, good for him. So, you know, mashallah, he doesn't brother, need mashallah. This, yeah, he doesn't need this extra stress in his head, bro. Like, come on, Kev. You're the man, bro. Fuck these people. Just Yeah, them. I know, I know. Definitely. Uh, I've got to say, <clears throat> you know, he's, he's, he, 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 should, he shouldn't take it so hard at the moment. He should just leave it and continue because we've got five more episodes and watch what the fuck he's going to do in those five episodes, man. He's going to fuck shit up, bro. I know he gave some spoilers away during that interview, which is fine. I'm happy with that because the spoilers are coming from him. Uh, it's weird, bro, because now it's like seeing, uh, for me personally, it's like seeing a friend getting bullied and you can't do nothing about it. That's where it was fucked up because I was like, he's such a friendly dude, lovable dude. He doesn't have no hate or negativity in his bone, positive to the core, you know what I mean? That's always nice to see when you see in the screen. Like when I met him in real life, you know, he was like that, bro. He this positive, funny, good energy, you know what I mean? Why would people, I, I shouldn't keep thinking about that, but it just, 
kind of hurts, man. It's like, guys, man, you're his friends, yet you turned against him. You watch his stuff, yet you still, like, what's the hate about, man? What the fuck? Like, doesn't matter if I don't know him personally. That's still, could you imagine every other creative person now who's thinking of getting into this industry to go through all of that shit? And I, I, I connect to that because I am in that industry. I do that type of work. I give my, my, my blood and sweat and tears when I do an art piece for somebody or when I work on a project with somebody and then, you know, constructive feedback is good because you work on it, you go back on it. But just like, if you ain't doing that, and then what the fuck are you talking for? Shut the fuck up. So, yeah, yeah but bro, yeah, you got to think about, man, like even the most lovable, who's the most lovable dude in the world? I don't know, the rock or something, the most inspirational, lovable. Bro, there's a, probably a, a couple of hundred thousand people that hate him too and want to diss him too. Like, nobody is 100%. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's people that just guaranteed going to help. Like that, that's, but, but the point is, they're like literally under 1% of of you know of the whole view whatever they're one percent of the people uh, mm. and if you give them traction then that you're going to make that one percent bigger that's, that's why he shouldn't what, do. that's what happened that's what, yeah that's what i'm saying that's why rogan like he always says he never reads the comments he don't give a fuck like, he never reads the comments he doesn't not give a fuck about them because if he read them first of all all his time will be gone he spent all his energy on that and then he'll be making those one percent uh fans uh, uh negative reactions bigger than they already are like yeah, or bigger exactly. than they are, like they, they should be. They're not, they're not, they shouldn't be big. They, they're rubbish. So, you know, you know, he, he shouldn't be, you know, I mean, he shouldn't get slated. He shouldn't be taken at the heart. And he should, he shouldn't, like I say, just be um spending his time justifying his amazing work. I thought he was great. I thought it was amazing. And that's coming from a non-He-Man fan that's coming from mm-hmm. someone that just took it on board and said, let me try and check it out. I, I didn't switch it off after episode one. I was, I was in. No, same ever. I was in. I was like, cool, I'm binging all five episodes. And it was easy 30 minute episodes to watch, which made it easier for me to watch as well. So I'm like, yeah, man, this, exactly. is, this is cool. No, exactly, bro, exactly. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, no, bro, all the best, man, to Kevin Smith, man. He's one of the guys that inspired us to get this shit on the road, you know what I mean? Him and Joe. So you guys, man, I've got enough love for you, man. So... Uh, just just don't read the comments, motherfucker. <laughs> don't read the comments. And go back and smoke your weed, man. You'll be fine, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it, man. He's going to be cool. He's going to be all right, man. So I'm looking forward to next week's Fat Man Beyond. Uh, and then hopefully he's just kind of moved on from it. Um, but yeah, bro. The other thing I watched the other day was um, Joe Rogan's podcast. He had Abby Martin on. Did you watch that? No, no, I heard. That's my next thing to watch as this well. This is what bro. I love about Joe, man. This is what I'm saying. This is what I love about Joe. And I know Joe has a lot of people on that that are anti-religion and talk bad about Islam and blah, blah, blah. Cool. He's like, I've, the way I see it, he doesn't, he's not into it, religion. So he's going to have people bad, bad mouth or whatever. But any other situation, bro, like he had Abby Marty on for nearly two and a half, three hours talking about the other side of what the mainstream media will tell you on, on the Israel and Palestine situation. I mean, he's the only sort of dude he's, I don't want to say he's mainstream media, but he's bigger than mainstream media because of his yeah. viewership and whatnot. And he is happy to put on Abby Martin and have a conversation with her because I'm not saying that he believes in it or he, he's like, no, this is what she's going to investigate. And I want to hear what her side of the story, yeah. which is the Palestinian side of the story. So I really recommend anyone who, wants to hear uh, uh you know the the other side of the palestine israel f- situation based on the alternative media if you want to call it listen to joe rogan's new episode with abby martin it really go deep deep goes deep into it and uh, abby martin she's she's awesome man she's absolutely amazing um so yeah check that one out bro i mean it's so important it's so important like i say she's so R- rogan's amazing to have her on pull it pull it that way and i think with that, with him having a one, um, it, it will change the perception of, of um, you know, the general person on, on Israel and Palestine situation based on what you see from the mainstream media. Um, yeah. At least you're getting the other perspective of it. I'm not saying to you that one way, I'm not going to even say one way is right. I don't, I'm not someone in that position. I'm just going to say, listen to what, and you make your decision. And I love Joe yeah, sure. for the fact that he puts <clears throat> that other perspective on there through Abby Martin. So we'll check it out. She's awesome. No, definitely. I'll check that out. I'll check that out. There was one thing I was supposed to tell you about last week and I forgot to say. The week before, bro, I put on the 18 movie. The new one? And we, we got it on Blu-ray and I remember, oh man, nice cover and everything. Let me put that on and watch it, bro. 
I fucking had a blast, bro. Why didn't they make number two, bro? Yeah, man, Liam yeah. Neeson, fucking uh, Bradley Cooper, the other guys. Uh, Rampage, Rampage Jackson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking good movie, man. I was like, I watched the extended version, which I've never seen, yeah? And there are certain things they should just cut out. I know they kept it in there as jokes, but it was a fucking good film, bro. Like, I, had, I was laughing and the action scenes were amazing and it put back that nostalgia of the A-team coming back together again. I was I was proper moist. And then I was like, why the fuck did they make number two, man? They had to make what number two. Why didn't? Did they did it flop? I don't know, bro. Like I, I you know what? Let me just read the IMDB rating. I know I shouldn't look at this for ratings, but let's see what en- people thought. I enjoyed the shit out of that, that movie, man. I thought uh-huh. it was awesome. Uh 18, 2010. Oh my god, just like eleven years ago, bro. But six point six six out six point seven out of ten. Uh, but not too bad. I'm not going to read the people's reviews, man. Fuck that, man. It's still a good fun film. I don't have to t- have t- somebody tell me that it wasn't a good film. It was fucking fun, bro. I, if you get the chance, watch it again, bro. There are some funny scenes in there. I was going to say uh, I watched an interesting movie the other day called Pig with Nicolas Cage. How was that? Bro, it wasn't bad. So I saw that the other day on, on the app and I was like, what the hell is this? Must be, a, you know, Nicolas Cage, I love the dude, but I was yeah. like, it must be one of those go to DVD movies. And anyway, I'm scrolling through my feed on Instagram or Facebook and then I see something and it was just saying unbelievable movie and it had great reviews and all this sort of stuff. And then I read something and it was like this dude just looking for his pig. And I'm like, sounds kind of basic. And I was reading a couple of reviews on it and I watched it and it wasn't bad. He was looking for his pig, but it wasn't bad. And Nicolas Cage does put on a great fucking performance, man. And it's, yeah. it, it's actually really good. <laughs> it's really so good. I, I watched the review on it as well. I need to sit down and watch that. That's going to be my next one on my list. But, I was uh, super it's surprised. It's been getting good man. reviews. People are loving his, uh, his acting in this one. He, he really pulled it off. He really... Because uh, everybody thought it was a revenge movie, isn't it? It's going to be like John Wick with a pig, isn't it? But it's not. No, exactly. And I mean, that's, really what I, good as well. that's what I expected. And that's what it was leading on to. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but it was like, you know, he was just this legend and everyone's like, it was almost like that John Wick thing. He's like, oh shit, this all his pig. What the fuck? But, you know, he didn't, I thought he was going to do some shit because he looks like a bum in the movie. He didn't do shit, <laughs> but he was, he was, uh, it was really good. It was a really it was a really good movie. I, I don't know. It was surprising. And he, yes, he put on a great performance. He put on a great performance. So very under the radar movie, I guess. But check it out, man. Nicholas Cage. No, Pig. I will do. Definitely. It is on the list. I've got a few uh, on my list. But yeah, that must have been. I, I've heard good reviews so far. So I'll check that out. But yeah, 18 was good. And then so I did Space Jam. Did Masters of the Universe. I did the recent episode of Superman and Lois this morning. Uh, I haven't seen that. I'm actually actually. surprised how it still has its moments. The thing that throws me off is that he doesn't look the same size when he's in his normal clothes. The suit's got padding in it. You're like, oh, man, come on, man. Yeah. (laughs) Just keep the same. I need to watch. Yeah, I need to watch a new episode. I haven't haven't watched it. Um, But other than that, bro, I'm, I'm happy with where they're heading and how good it is. And the visuals are actually quite good. And for TV programs, the same tone. Yeah, it's really good. So surprisingly, they've kept that going. Bro, we need to talk. One last thing before we go, guys. The Flash. Oh, oh well, I haven't lightsaber? seen it, but I saw the, I saw the co- I saw the comics. That's the comments and the, the memes about the lightsaber shit that they're doing. So it's the final, it's the finale, and if season I don't know how the fuck that has reached up to season seven. I have no idea. But good on them. Good on them, man. Season one and two for me were probably you know good tv series i love them to bits i got them on blu-ray season three fucked it all up for me i haven't seen it ever since uh but then this they showed this footage of uh them not having a lightsaber battle i was like what the fuck is turned into the star wars or something bro is the bad guy legitly punjabi or was that some joke thing that you posted no no it was punjabi games bro <laughs> <laughs> it looked joke and he said something I mean, in if punjabi it is- as well Good for him, good for that. But yeah, that lightsaber thing did look kind of funny. I didn't know what the hell that was about. Yeah, it's, it's such a shame, man. But yeah, I don't know what they were doing, bro. I'll, I'll wait for the movie. You know, I'll wait for the movie. Did you see the picture of, 
of, of him sitting standing in front of the Wayne Mansion. Yeah. Moist. Moist. Hey, did you watch Did you watch Modoc this week? Oh, fuck. That's another one to watch. No, I need to watch that as well. There was oh, a funny scene that cracked me up. Um, sorry, I'm going to spoil it for you, bro, because it go, made go, me go. laugh. You know, remember his twin is, is not his twin, he's, yeah. he's someone from back, at, back in the past is trying to get him to rule the world. He's saying his family ruined his dream of yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he kind of takes him to this, through this premonition and he's like, you're never going to rule the world because your family's going to let you down. And, and he showed him all these versions, <laughs> versions of him dying right because of his weakness and he's in the avengers tower and whatnot and then you see iron man blast his head off and then you see captain shield um another version <laughs> captain funny. shield goes through him uh black widow and then you got hawkeye and then he gets so upset because like oh my god even hawkeye um but that was hilarious and then there was another guy called turkey man that, that killed him and he took a bath and then he died on the toilet but i was dying bro the fucking show is hilarious <laughs> It was, it was, it's good. It's I checked, so you know what? I'm going to watch that. I've got some work to do. So I'll pop that out in the background, but uh, I need to catch up on that. Uh, bro, did you see the video clip I just sent in the group? Of uh, the, 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 the butty, um, the, the butty, uh, what'd you call it? The robber. I was like, the burglar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he makes this stuff. That guy's I funny. Crying, bro. I'm crying, he grinded, he grinded in them and whatnot, yeah. All I could think of is Carl. <laughs> it's not even that. He goes, I'll tell you, he grinds because you don't tell nobody. Go <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But this guy, this Jamaican guy, oh no, I don't even know if he's Jamaican. I know he's from the States, but he's comedic timing. I'm doing videos by himself. I'm thinking of something like that is out of this world, bro. To get robbed, not even for money. Did you hear him? You can take my money, bro. Just like, take my money. The guy goes, I want your chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and then his girl at the end. <laughs> you couldn't say my chicken sandwich or your man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly video, man. I the tell you what, always wins. Shit, the internet, the internet always wins. I'm telling you, because you get some random shit. <laughs> it killed me, absolutely killed me. I've sent it to Dwayne. Dwayne's dying, bro. <laughs> That's what Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne's dying is like. He got me. Because <laughs> like, Dwayne was like, "Why are you said there's another one that this guy does. His name's Major Hype, and it's about somebody fainting at the bus stop." <laughs> And it's different types of coaches like West Indian, Jamaican, African to do CPR. And the guy's like, nah, man, me not do them. <laughs> the guy's dying, do CPI. He's like, nah, man, me not touch his butt. <laughs> Let me send that video next. It's hilarious. Oh, he's jokes. Me. Made me sweat and shit for no reason, man. Oh. All right, cool. Before I get in trouble, I need to get back to work. Hold up. Cool. Uh, is there anything else? Videos, I'm trying to... There was nothing else. Well, we covered everything, right? I think, I guess, it's up to a everything. point. What I'm going to do is, because nobody want to enter none of these competitions, yeah? I've got best shit to give away to you guys, man. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Twitter and Instagram giveaways now. So I think that's the only other way I can kind of get rid of some of the stuff I got, but yeah, give back to the guys. Do it for the Brothers Geek Out page, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do a Twitter giveaway next week. I'm going to put some stuff together. One of you followers, man, and one of you listeners, because I know there's a couple of you listeners that follow us on those pages. If you comment or retweet the image there, take it. It's yours. It's for you guys. It's to say thank you. We've been trying to give away stuff for almost a year now, man. Just take it. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys check us out on all other streaming platforms. Uh, this one's kind of a short one this week, guys, but as always, Massive, massive thank you as always. G-Man, thanks again, bro, for jumping on a bit later. But uh, we'll do an early one next week. Cool, bro. Cool. Uh, what happened with the one with uh, Professor Kaiki? Is that coming out? Yes, 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 bro. I'm going to push that to this week. It's only because it got so busy last week. I need to finish off his drawing and then put it out. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let me so know about... Posted. 
Yeah, let me know about links that you want me to share with you. So uh, the the school links and all that sort of stuff. And his I will Instagram do. As soon as I get ready, I'll, I'll let you know definitely. Uh, but cool. I'll do that and keep you posted. But other than that, guys, one love. Peace. Peace.